Hi, I'm Kristen Porter, Iowa Girl Eats blogger. And I'm Chef Andrew from hy V. And today we're working with Alaska King Crab Legs with dipping sauces. A lot of people think working with crab is difficult or just for entertaining, but it's actually really easy and I say it's for every day. You know, you can get these fresh from hy V, and really all that you need is a nice big stock pot and some kitchen shears. Okay. There's about two to three inches of simmering water that are a nice rapid simmer. And we're just gonna throw those crab legs right in there. And that's okay that the tips are sticking out like that. That's Perfect. not a problem. All right, well our first dipping sauce we're gonna make is a basil mint pesto sauce. This is a great twist on a traditional pesto. So I'm gonna have you start by tearing fresh basil and fresh mint into a food processor. And I'm gonna add Parmesan cheese, walnut pieces, fresh garlic, and fresh lemon juice, and this really brightens up the entire sauce. So if you wanna pop the lid on for me, I'm gonna stream in some olive oil while you process that. All right. Great, that is it. That color looks awesome too. It is beautiful, very vibrant. So I'm just gonna take the blade out here and then drop this in my serving bowl. And you know, this uh, dip is great with the crab legs, but you can also freeze the extra pesto in a ice cube tray and thaw it to use with pasta, chicken, shrimp. It's great with a lot of different things. Well, while you're just finishing that up, I'm going to uh, make my Mediterranean dip. And it's actually something that's really quick and easy. Uh, if I can have you stir it for me, that'd be great. We already have uh, some sour cream and mayonnaise in there. I'm gonna add some artichoke hearts. We've got some Parmesan cheese, green onions, black olives, and then one of my favorite ingredients, sun-dried tomatoes. Gorgeous colors here. You know, it's pretty easy. We'll throw that into a ramekin. So one way to make that healthier is by substituting Greek yogurt for the sour cream and mayonnaise. That's perfect. Then we're gonna throw it in the oven here. Bake it for about five to 10 minutes until the top is nice and warm and bubbly. Sounds great. So it's been you know a couple minutes here, so our crab legs are done. Usually I serve about half pound to one pound crab per person. The color on these is really- Beautiful. It is beautiful. To get the meat out, it's really simple. You've got the joint here, and you just want to rip that off. And if you flip the crab leg over, you can see there's a much smoother side there. Sure. Take your kitchen shears. It's a really good tool you need to have in the kitchen. Snip up the side there. You can break off in the pieces. And then you just open it right up and you've got the meat. Well, why don't you finish getting the rest of the meat out of the crab and I'll assemble our spread. Sounds good. Well, Kristen, this spread that we have here looks great with all the different colors and textures, including the Mediterranean dip and the basil mint pesto sauce. And I made a red pepper roux. It's just roasted red peppers, mayonnaise, fresh lemon juice, and a little bit of garlic. And of course you have to have butter. We put a little spin on it and added some garlic salt and fresh dill. Thanks for watching. For all these recipes and more, visit hyvee.com.